everyone, my name is Sophie Mautner, I'm a Hungarian food writer and right now we are in the lovely Mediterranean multicultural city of Pécs, which is located in the southern part of Hungary, very close to the Croatian border. And the reason why we are here today is the launch of a wonderful cookbook published by the University of Pécs, featuring 50 recipes of the international students they have submitted or their family recipes. So this is the book, it's called 50 Delicacies on Earth has this wonderful cover and today we are going to cook some Nigerian food which is really special even for me. So it is my great pleasure to introduce to you and to welcome Missy Ture Abdurrahim who is the Deputy Ambassador of Nigeria to Hungary and Samuel Akinola Sam, Sam. who is the student who actually submitted uh, the one of the dishes uh, featured to be featured in the cookbook and we also have local chef Akos Lokodi who is the real hero of this book I think because <laughs> yeah. he's the one who actually cooked all the 50 dishes uh, partly together with the students, so also with you, right? Yes, we were also cooking some with... with uh, what did you cook? The, you, you cooked this special dish which we are going to do? Yeah, I did um, egusi soup. Egusi soup? Egusi soup, yes. Okay, but to, today we are not going actually egusi, to do yeah. egusi soup because I mean, probably it, it was very complicated to... It takes time, like it, it takes, takes too long to make. Uh -huh. so, so what are we cooking today? Yeah, we're making yam porridge. Yam porridge. Does yes. it have any special Nigerian name? Yeah, just, oh, okay, sometimes we call it Asaru, uh -huh. like from the southwestern part of Nigeria. Okay. So that's the name, we call it Asaru. Uh -huh. so Asaru? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and why did you choose this particular dish? Actually, the thing is, uh, it's like one of my favorite dish. Uh -huh. I like it very well, uh -huh. especially uh -huh. probably in the afternoon. I like making it in the afternoon. Uh -huh. And um, it is very easy to make, mm -hmm. very easy. And uh, the things it's comprised, it's comprised of the, the stock fish. Som uh -huh. Sometimes we put the shrimp. Uh -huh. Sometimes we put the um, like different vegetables. You can put vegetables and uh, the yam. The uh -huh. yam is the main. Basic. Okay, let's say this, I mean, you know, all these ingredients, there are some special ones, and this is, can you please present this uh, ingredient? Okay, <laughs> no, it's, it's like, it looks very, um, like, it's unique because it's not common, it's not in Hungary. Uh -huh. So, it is... It's yam. Yam, yeah, it's, yeah, yam. yeah, yam tuba. So, it is very particular to Nigeria. Uh -huh. So, there's a way we grow it, we, um, it's from the ground, it grows from the ground. So, uh -huh. so the it's yam, a root, right? It's a yeah, root. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. it's a root. Um, so... We can make this yam into different things. We can make pounded yam from it. We can make chips, even the chips. Uh -huh. We can make many things from the yam. Uh -huh. So that's why it's very, like, it's very good. Uh -huh. Like, different varieties from it can be good. Uh -huh. What are you going to do with that? I just want to mm -hmm. cut. Uh-huh, cut. Yeah. Okay. And Mr. Tura, you mentioned before that if you, that, that the peel, when peeling the yam, it can uh, itch or it, it, it can hurt somehow or the, 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 the skin. How does it come? Yes, the yam, it's a very popular food. It's uh, like uh, rightly mentioned before, it's a root too. Uh -huh. It's very similar to mandioca, uh -huh. but it's the bigger one. Uh -huh. Sometimes it can be as long as two centimeters. Uh -huh. So it's uh, very famous in the sub saharan uh -huh. West African countries, uh, neighboring countries too, they consume uh -huh. it. Uh -huh. but unfortunately, it's so scarce. Uh, it's not very popular in the other part of the world. Uh -huh. So, but we cherished it as a matter of food. It's like the king of the tuba. Ah, okay. Um, Irish potato is a tuba. Uh -huh. Mandioca is a tuba. So it's the king, king of, of the, the tubers. tubers. Okay. So and um, sometimes because of the longevity uh -huh. before it develops uh -huh. under the ground, so it has some irritation. So uh -huh. one, yeah. once you are peeling it, like you be careful when uh -huh. you are peeling. So the uh -huh. peel. So. And it's actually the flesh which uh, yeah. causes this uh, yeah. itching? Or yeah. So if you really have to be careful when you're peeling it, uh -huh. but it, I can assure you it is very, very sweet, very delicious. Uh -huh. I'm really and curious. Very I think rich. I've never, never had that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've traveled around the world, but I've, nev I've never, people have not been really used to yes. um, yam. They call yam. it yam uh -huh. and uh, yam tuba. Uh -huh. So it's um, different forms. We eat it in different forms. Uh -huh. It's just like Irish potato, it can be fried. Uh -huh. And as, as far as I see it, it has quite a high like starch, starch content. It's it very, very starchy. Very very starchy. starchy. Uh -huh. That is why 
the African people mm -hmm. are more bulky because uh -huh. it's, it's rich in it's yeah. starch. Yeah, I see it, how, mm. how it looks. If you can yeah. see that it yeah. has this high mm. stark, uh, star, yeah. uh, starch content. You see, Ture, uh, can you tell me a little bit, uh, 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 a little bit, a few words about Nigerian or West African uh, cuisine? Yeah, I think one, um, because of the fact that the policy of bringing African food mm -hmm. to Europe uh -huh. is a bit restricted. Uh -huh. And that is why we they have to do with the one we have. That is why it's not very common. Okay, so it's, it's, it's uh, basically it's because of the ingredients. You think? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So and um, but with the, uh, with this yam, fortunately, yeah. most of the uh, from e England, uh -huh. United Kingdom, uh -huh. Vienna, and most of the European country, they find their way to import the uh -huh. this food type of food uh -huh. for the African living in Europe. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So therefore, they cherish this food and it still find its way to come to Europe. Mm -hmm. So people consume it because of the affiliation. Uh -huh. It is their custom, so they still imbibe in eating this food and one way or the other it comes to Europe. Uh -huh. Do you actually cook at home? Yes. Yes. There's also this one? Definitely. The yam porridge. Yeah. And and what's your favorite favorite one? To be because it's the king, uh -huh. it's is the king of the tituba. It definitely yes, is one of is my favorite, mm. cool. and it can be turned into pounded yam. Uh -huh. As a matter of fact, there's an engine uh -huh. that uh, we, we have so many machines that can uh -huh. pound it. You uh -huh. can pound it manually. Yes. After boiling it, uh -huh. you pound it, then it becomes puree, uh -huh. hard, it, hard puree. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know puree? So it's like a paste, correct? Yeah, a paste, paste. Uh -huh. but hard paste. Uh -huh. Hard so paste. Yeah, uh -huh. and uh -huh. it can be eaten with some vegetables uh -huh. and a goosey and sort of um, uh -huh. some draws, even with okra. Uh -huh. with so, okra. yeah, mm -hmm. and these things can be found in most of these uh, Eastern uh -huh. European countries' shops based in Europe. Uh -huh. cool. The Pakistan shop, the Indian shop, and some they, African they people it. too, mm -hmm. they import it, and the Caribbean. So, and it's also very common with mm -hmm. the Caribbean, mm -hmm. Caribbean countries. Yes, mm -hmm. so and I, I guess you can't eat it raw, right? No, no, no. no. So <laughs> it's, it's a really yeah. high, high in yeah. starch content. So Simon, do you actually cook? Cook? Do you actually cook at home? Yes. yes. Actually, the thing is, when I was in Nigeria before I came mm -hmm. here, I always like, I always um, like go with my my mother in in the kitchen. So I always look at her whenever she's cooking, but I didn't touch anything uh -huh. because I think <laughs> she was she was the only female in the family. Uh -huh. So I just go there and assist her and pick some things, give her the things uh -huh. she needed. But when I got here, I needed like I needed to start uh -huh. cooking on my own because okay. nobody would cook for me. So yes. I had to start so you had cooking. To cook for yeah, yourself. Sure. So, but since then I've been like I came here um, 2017, so I cook every day. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And you I like cook it. every day? I cook really? Every day. Yes. Wow. I try to find time for it because if uh -huh. I don't cook, then <laughs> I won't be able to go to class. Yeah. <laughs> so <I just> <laughs> and what kinds of uh, foods do you cook for yourself? Oh. Most of the time I cook, I like eba very well, eba. Eba, what is yeah. it? That is gari. Mandioka. Like from the gari. Uh-huh. Okay. It's mandioka, yes. it's, it's made from mandioka, uh -huh. the dried mandioka. Uh-huh. In the grain, granulated form. Eba? Yes. Eba. But um, another good thing about this here is that it has been discovered and now it has been transformed uh -huh. into pan pando flour. Okay. Yeah. So research have made it easier now for us instead of pounding it, it now it is being dried uh -huh. it's being refined and put in powdered form okay and you you have you, ha you have access to that powder or you yeah, can it's buy it it's all over sure, yeah, it's, it's, in all uh -huh. it's on page it's even in page yeah, you can buy it how cool okay. 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 It's, uh, it's so more, it's, it's very internationally easy. recognized uh -huh. the, yes, the, the powder the powdered one now is uh -huh. recognized because uh -huh. it's 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 um when you do instead of pounding it's make it easier, mm -hmm. you just mix it in the hot water it and, uh -huh. and it comes like out. Like an instant, instant exactly. uh, yam porridge. Or mm -hmm. yes. And it's <laughs> very easy and very fast. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So within probably 15 minutes. You, you have it. Uh -huh. That's it. Cool. Mm -hmm. And how do you like page? Oh, I love page. What do you like about page? <laughs> I like the student life, I like the environment. Uh -huh. Page is very beautiful. Yes, it's a really very beautiful, beautiful city. Yeah. I like the structures. Uh -huh. So now back to like the school part. I like uh -huh. the school. I like my faculty, uh -huh. and I like what I study. What do you study? I study nursing. 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 Mm -hmm. So the teachers are very good. They're friendly, mm -hmm. and um, they are helpful. Uh -huh. Anytime, like, and I like the relationship between the uh -huh. teachers and the students. Uh -huh. So they're always ready to help. 
You like party, and I've heard actually that you make some music. Sure, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do uh -huh. music. I and do. what kind of music you give? Like, prob you, you just told me the story that you were, you went to Budapest for a concert, like a proper concert. What yes. kind of music do you? Yeah, do? I actually did oh, some um, R and B and some pop uh -huh. song. And the last concert at Budapest at Simple Arcade, so, uh -huh. so which like, is a very cool place. That yeah, very yeah, yeah. like <laughs> different foreigners come around, and uh -huh. it's a very big place. So. Uh -huh. You know what? I know. I know. It's this is really stupid, and I know that this, <laughs> this you know that, that this setting is not really uh, uh, how to say proper and perfect. You know, to do some performance, but maybe do you want to show us something from the music you do? <laughs> oh, sure, sure. Yeah. It's a, yeah. <laughs> just. I love this place. I love this place because of so many things. I love the school. Yeah. yeah. Because of the multicultural environment, I like meeting new people. Oh, there's a place that I just want to stay. I don't want to leave this place. Wow. Just, you like this? <laughs> Thank, you so Thank you so it's much. Thank you so much. It's wonderful. I, it's really wonderful. I love yeah. it. Thank I love you. it. Thank you. Thank yes, you. Thank yes, you. I love so it. Much. So, when's your next concert? I'll probably like um, right now. I'm busy with exams and uh -huh. tests, so to be around uh, some like me after uh -huh. my exams uh -huh, because okay. I need to study. Yeah. Of course, studying sure. is of course always on the first place and yes, partying yes, on yes, the yes, second. Yes. Yeah. But actually, the, tonight is uh, like the international evening, so uh -huh. I'll be singing with the band tonight. Cool. So that's I'm, one. I'm of gonna it. check it. Yes, yeah, definitely. that's been, it's so gonna nice. be cool. Yeah. yeah. So nice, I really. just hope you're gonna like it. Very nice. Uh, okay, tell me about the dish itself. So it's the yam porridge. How, how, you know, what, what are the main ingredients? Yeah, the main, the main ingredient is oh, yes, the, the yam. Yes, the famous king of the tuba. Yeah, the so king of the tuba. <laughs> so we have the stockfish. Stockfish, so which it's, is dried. It's, yeah, it's dried. So we can soften it by boiling, putting it in boiling water, uh -huh. so to soft to some degrees. And we have this. Um, what is shrimp. it? Crayfish. Crayfish, crayfish, yes. Yeah. Grind so. this one. It's yeah. crayfish. Dried, yeah, grind it, yeah. dried, dried and crayfish. Uh -huh. Dried shrimps. Uh -huh. So this is this this is a uh, pepe. Uh -huh. It's brunettes, brunettes, uh. Okay, yeah, brunettes, yeah. <laughs> so we um, it's kind of uh, strong, like uh -huh. paprika. Yeah. In so Hungary. It's, it's spicy, right? Yeah, it's, it's spicy. Uh -huh. Spicy. Uh, and uh, yeah, and sometimes we put sometimes we put vegetables. Uh -huh. Sometimes we put um, meat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So onions. Yes. Mm -hmm. onions, onions, yes, onions very important. Uh -huh. and, uh, yeah. So it's basically like it's a stew. Yeah. It's a stew, yeah. right? Uh -huh. It's a stew. Not really no a stew. Is um, the is hardened? You are, I mean, it's not watery. Uh -huh. So it's, just ah, okay, it's not watery. Yeah, it's, it's more watery. dry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's more dry. How is it, Sam? Good. Really? Very good. I'm sure you like it. Yeah, I'm really curious. I've never, to be honest, I mean, I'm, I really know a lot of different cuisines, but I'm not very familiar with, uh, with African. You can make it watery mm -hmm. and you can make it more, yes. more S solid. Dry or yeah, more, more solid. dry. Uh -huh. And it's similar to goulash, like I said. Mm -hmm. When uh, women give baths, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. they do because of the content of the carbohydrate content, uh -huh. they make it liquid like goulash uh -huh. and a with a little spices. No, it's okay. uh -huh. It helps the mother to quickly uh -huh. regain the energy. It's very nourishing, right? Regain uh -huh. the energy. So most women that mm -hmm. just give birth uh -huh. takes it. They, they take it. Okay. Yeah. So yes, actually Akos, our chef, just mentioned to me that this is very pretty much similar to a Hungarian fish uh, goulash, yeah. right? Goulash, it's, a, yes. it's a little bit yeah. fish stew. Fish stew or something. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. I mean, it it it, it really smells very uh, intense, right? Is it is it how it should? Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah? It's coming closer. You said it's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, do you like Hungarian food? First you? time I came, uh -huh. um, they, I was welcomed with goulash soup. Ah, okay. And <laughs> really, it's like, it's I like enjoyed it. Goulash is, of course, it's similar iconic. to one of the, they call uh -huh. it pepe soup. Uh -huh. Pepe soup, soup mm -hmm. in at home. Uh -huh. And uh, subsequently, I was in Baja, uh -huh. the fish, uh -huh. still fish festival uh -huh. because ah, of Baya. Uh, yeah Baya. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so the they had this uh, uh -huh. fish festival uh -huh. so i enjoy fish still mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah because it's similar uh -huh. it's because people are running away from meat uh -huh. so the spectacular thing about hungary too is the fish still they are very 
Fantastic. Yeah, yeah fish stew, actually, I'm always, whenever I'm asking, you know, people from abroad what they really love, then goulash obviously is on the first place, but e fish soup and fish stew is even, even yeah, um, yeah, more so beloved, yeah, I think it's so something. Okay, let's, um, Akos, let's plate the dish. Yes. I'm really curious. You're gonna like it. I'm gonna like it? Okay. Sure. I mean, it's, it smells really nice. I mean, it's yeah. real, real good. Spices. Mm. Wow, it looks beautiful, actually. Mm. Thank you so much again for coming and joining me for the cooking. And once again, there is this wonderful book called 15 Delicacies on Earth, published by the University of Page, featuring 50 wonderful family recipes submitted by the students, among others also STEM, with this lovely, lovely yam porridge and the agusi soup, which sounds very interesting, but I might try it. And um, yeah, let's do some cooking together. And let's try it. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. That looks really, really nice. I love it. I love it. Very good. Energy. Hot, right? Mm -hmm. Is this like uh, it should be? Energy given, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm.